Hello, my name is Cathy Rensenbrink and I am the author of Write It All Down, How to Put Your Life on the Page. Today in this video, it's my privilege to be giving you top tips for aspiring writers. I've got five tips and a final thought. And the first thing is just to say thank you because I love talking to people about writing and encouraging them to write. So tip one, the first one is try to enjoy the urge, the very fact that you want to do it, that creative flame that's flickering inside you. Um, just think how joyous it is that that is there within you and spend a little bit of time feeling pleased about that. Um, because that is, it's the simplest thing, it's the start of it all and that's the thing that you will need to hold within you through a longer project. You'll need it to pull it through the project. So try to stay with that moment and enjoying it because what this is sort of the biggest thing not to do what people do very much including me is get bogged down they get bogged down in the structural woes the worries the what is it the will i be able to get it published the what will other people say stay out of all of that for the moment and just enjoy the fact that you want to write try saying it i want to write try writing it down in your notebook i want to write because and stay with that urge and enjoy it so on to tip two. Um, this also helps avoid getting bogged down because the second tip is start small. Think of the smallest possible way that you can start and then focus on starting small. You want to try to go for little and often, I think. Trying to build a regular practice is so much more important than trying to get a sense of what the entire work is. So start small. Think of any way that you can get yourself going um, regularity is really good. It's much better, I think, to try and do five minutes a day than it is to try and do three hours a week or to decide that you're not going to start until you can have a week off work or that problem fixes itself and then you're not preoccupied with that. Then I'll start writing my book. So start as small as you can and then you'll just be going and that's the best thing to do for that. So tip three is for as long as you need, give yourself the gift of privacy. Think of it as a joyous secret, a splendid hobby, something that's just for you. This also is helping us avoid getting bogged down because what people do is very naturally, and uh, I think one of the reasons why I didn't finish my first book until I was 42 was because I did too much talking about it to other people. And then they'd say things that I found difficult. They'd say things like, you know, no, I've heard it's very difficult to get published or well, no one will ever read that. It sounds really sad. And then that would put me off and I would feel sad and I would get distracted from my writing. So for as long as you need, give yourself the gift of privacy. And that's a really important tip. Um, tip four, as much as you can, keep it fun. What you're trying to do all the time, I find, is appeal to the creative child within you. The bit within you that likes colour and that likes excitement and likes the sound of it's a sound of language so keep it as much fun as you can and that's really whatever floats your boat um i like i'm wearing this cardigan can you see it at the moment with these jolly dots um my friend sophie gave it to me for my birthday and it just it fills me with joy and i started doing it but i'm just wearing it a lot because i like it i've started calling it my writing cardigan i'm going to put my writing cardigan on i say and do my writing it just puts me in a really nice mood i also thought i'd show you Again, find your own things for this, but I really like this little lighthouse pen pot. I don't think it even is a pen pot. I think it's a tea light holder, but I find it jolly. It cheers me up to sort of have it around me. I really like, um, I do like nice stationery in beautiful colours. Um, again, I think it's all, I'm sort of, it's all stimulating the creative bit inside me. You don't need any of this and you certainly don't need to, I'm not saying that you need to sort of spend money kitting yourself out for your hobby, but whatever makes you feel that it's fun, in my experience, that's a good vibe to go for. Um, tip five is to keep a diary. Um, this is because it's a really good way to build a regular practice. And even if you just start writing down an observation a day, maybe something you've overheard, what happens when you write a diary is it limbers you up for your other work and it teaches you to be a good noticer. And I think mostly what writing requires is that sort of observation of the world around us. So I think keeping a diary is a really good, um, a really good way to help you build a practice and start getting you moving, getting you stretching, getting the words working, getting yourself onto the page. 
So those would be my first five tips. And my final thought is that um, writing is an acorn activity. So the most important thing is that you sow your seeds. You then might be really surprised what they grow into. But it's better to sow the seeds, I think, being sort of relaxed and as joyous as you can and loving towards the seeds rather than immediately wanting to know what they're going to go grow into and getting cross with them that they're not growing fast enough so be the sort of joyful gardener of the you know of the words in your mind of the language in your mind and start just start getting used to putting yourself onto the page pouring yourself into your notebook and I look forward to see what oaks will grow from your sowing of your acorns. So thank you very much for listening to me. It's been a great pleasure and good luck with your writing.